We're here in the Fort Pierce area just off Edwards Road. We've seen a couple down trees. This area just coming out of a tornado warning. Uh, but for the most part, areas like Edwards remain desolate, not a lot of cars. One big reason is because you're going to encounter flooding on a lot of the main roads, residential roads. And now we're starting to see some of that flooding spilling over into people's front yards. And inevitably for folks in low lying homes like these, now spilling into their living rooms, into their bedrooms. And for those who chose to ride out the storm, like those at 3015, this tan home here in the middle, they're now having to await rescue. Just a moment ago, I was able to yell across what's virtually become a small lake. There's no way for us to get to them. There's no way for them to get to us without having to swim through this water. Uh, I yelled, do you have a cell phone? The answer is yes. Have you called the authorities? Yes, we've called the authorities. What's the answer? Well, now we're, the police are telling them they're going to get them rescued. They're going to do whatever they can, but they have to wait for these winds to die down. The winds are picking up here in Fort Pierce as Hurricane Irma nears, uh, and they're only going to continue to increase. Flooding issues like this is only going to get worse. The wind's only going to pick up. So uh, families like this having to now ride out the storm, a decision they made days ago to stay at home, uh, and now having to await rescue from police who are also having to play it safe based on all sorts of factors, including the wind. Reporting from Fort Pierce, I'm Dan Kennedy. Now back to you.